Not taking advantage of others. There was a famous doctor called He Chang during the Shuan period of the Northern Song Dynasty. A man named San Shrin was sick for a long time. Hearing of He Chang's exceptional skill, Sun asked Ye to treat him. Sun's wife was young and very pretty. She said to He Chang in private, My husband has been sick for a long time, and we have sold all our valuables to pay for his care. But he is still no better. We are very grateful that you have come to treat him. Since we have no money to pay you, I am willing to offer myself to you as a gesture of our gratitude. He Cheng replied, Madam, you shouldn't say such a thing. Your family is already in dire financial straits, and I'm a doctor who treats people to save their lives. How can I possibly take advantage of your situation? I will do my best to cure your husband at no charge. Please respect yourself and do not do anything that brings harm to yourself. Son's wife was ashamed of what she would say and grateful for He Cheng's kindness. That night, He Cheng had a dream in which he was taken to an impressive government building with a spacious hall. An official said to him, You have maintained high moral standards in your medical practice. In particular, you did not take advantage of people in difficult situations and did not violate a woman's virtue. Your good conduct has impressed the gods. I have a decree from the Jade Emperor to offer you an official position and a reward of 50,000 coins. When He Cheng woke up, he thought it was just a dream. As a rural doctor, how could the possibly he given an official position? So he did not take the dream seriously. Half a year later, the crown prince became ill and none of the palace doctors could help him. Notices seeking skillful doctors were posted everywhere. He Cheng responded to the call and was summoned to the royal palace. He prescribed only two doses of herbal medicine and the crown prince recovered completely. The emperor was very pleased and offered He Cheng an official position and a reward of 50,000 coins. He Cheng then remembered his dream and was amazed to see the scenes in his dream become reality.